Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Osha. Let's start episode 275 of uh, Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. And uh, this question was sent by Karsten. He writes, Dear Vidas and Osha, I am glad to hear from you and happy as well that my donation is so highly appreciated. Please take it as my personal way to say thank you to both of you for all of your great inspiring and continuous advice, newsletters and videos, which always helped me out when I got stuck on my way to further dive into playing the organ. A propos getting stuck. My current job of being a software development developer was very demanding over the past months and still is uh, with still no time to relax with invisible reach. This had a big impact on my schedules, so my hobby of organ playing suffered a lot since I did not feel like sitting down on the bench every day. Of course, I had a bad conscience about this because I remembered all of your articles about time management, being consistent in practice, taking the daily 15 minutes, and so on. But in the end, uh, to my very surprise, I was even able to improvise on some symphonic pieces for about 2.5 hours on a big four manual cathedral organ during public opening hours without having played a single note for about four or five weeks before. Sometimes it seems like energy cells have to recharge for a while, and it also seems that a bit of of distance isn't always a bad idea. Of course, I do not feel to have reached concert level yet, but to be honest, this is nothing that I personally need to achieve. Yeah, I take the relaxed way and do that for my personal fun and the joy of others. Also, concert level could mean a wide variety of things and may not mean anything to the listeners who do not or even do do not enjoy the music at a certain moment. What mattered, in my opinion, was that A. I was present there on that wonderful organ, B. He had no fear or performance anxiety, as you call it, even with numerous visitors walking through the huge building. C. Seized the moment despite of, uh, despite of people talking, making their phone calls and children screaming. D. Let a number of friends, relatives and random visitors have a good time with my music. And finally, D was able to conduct the first surround recording of my improvisations. Um, So, then later, uh, Karsten writes, If I made you curious about the result, I'd happily invite you to watch my Dom Momente live playlist, which you can find on my YouTube channel. Uh, My YouTube username is Woody of MC. In case you'd like to keep an eye on my progress, during the past years I recorded a number of pieces and performances for my family and friends. CDs are a great gift for any occasion, and I'm currently in the process of creating a 
discography page in case one of them would like to order additional copies as a gift for his or her own friends. Uh, this is uh, at the page en.wpoa.de. You may keep track of how my hobby is evolving, last but not least, thanks to your highly appreciated mentoring. So, what do you think about this long and fascinating feedback, Osha? Well, it's truly fascinating. What? So, you know, I think that the main thing, the main you know, uh, idea of this letter is that uh, you could have sort of a break from the organ and then mm -hmm. go back to it and you know it might be do you good mm -hmm. exactly um, and um, Karsten gives us one two three four five YouTube links here with his uh, improvisations and he is interested in knowing our feedback but I don't think we are able to to do that uh, um, you know, in detail in this episode, but maybe in the next one, sure. we can listen to them beforehand and uh, say a few things about those improvisations. We'll be glad to do that. So, um, uh, my comment about about his this performance in 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 uh, cathedral is that. Yes, he was honest about those four four things he noticed, and uh, even though it was not perfect, performance was not perfect, but he didn't beat himself up for this. That's a good, I think, character trait, uh, positive outlook. Yes, mm -hmm. it's excellent. And I think he chose very wisely to improvise. Because he haven't played the organ for a while before that. So I think in such a case, improvisation is always a better idea than, you know, to play repertoire, repertoire that you, let's say, haven't practiced for a month or more. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? Right. Here I would like to add a comment uh, about something that was written in the beginning. Uh, Karsten wrote... Uh, that he, his current job of being a software developer was very demanding, right? And this had a big impact on his schedule. And so his hobby of organ playing suffered a lot since he did not feel like sitting down on the bench every day. So this did not feel thing, uh, I'd like to add a comment here. The feeling is less important. Uh, I'm talking about my own perspective, of course. Uh, if I have a goal, right, and I'm I don't have time or tired or or even sometimes sick, which which might happen, right? And I feel the pressure to to keep on track of my schedule. I would do uh, no matter what my practice look like maybe 15 minutes would be enough right not maybe an hour but 15 minutes I would do no matter what even if I did not feel like sitting down on the bench what do you think Osho about that attitude strict attitude well um, I don't agree actually with you see guys we are so different and that's so wonderful because you get both perspectives in one podcast episode well, you know, because, let's say, in July, I spent, you know, a week in a hospital, and I really was sick for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I haven't practiced at all because I really haven't had, you know, possibilities to do it. No, I understand that. And I still, you know, went to London and gave that recital together with you. And uh, did they go, to, did they come to your hospital and uh, say, 
Osha, you need to practice while, while no. lying in bed. So I'm just giving you this example that you would understand that there are no periods in life when you can really not practice. No, of course, when you are sick, like like really sick, right? You cannot really move or walk. Or Maybe I had to ask you to bring me organ, you know, to the hospital. Or have temperature, right? High fever. Yes then it's even dangerous to do that. But still, you know what I would do? Uh, I would practice in my head <laughs> while lying in on in bed. Yes, with the fever of 40 degrees, yes. No, 40 degrees, no, but 39s, yes. Well, <laughs> let's wait until you get sick and then we will see yeah, and then how we'll, much will you practice in your we'll, head. And then we'll record another podcast episode about that. Yes. Okay. You know, when you have fever, I can see it from my experience now, mm -hmm. that's such a high fever that you don't understand what is real and what is not real. And then yes, maybe in your head somewhere you can practice while hallucinating. What I was meaning, of course, also, that Karsten was not having a fever, you know? Well, but, you know, his job is his job. It's his priority because, it, you know, it pays his bills. But, uh, but, so but, you but, have but, to do that thing but, first. But uh, listen to this. He had a bad conscience about uh, skipping practice because he remembered our article saying, you know, about the importance of being consistent and taking it at least 15 minutes a day. So he knows that it's important, right? And... So, but but he f didn't feel like sitting down. It's it's basically saying that he knows the right way, but his will is not strong enough to do it sometimes. But look, even you know if things happen and you cannot practice for some time, no matter what the reason is, don't feel guilty no. because that feeling of you know inner guilt it's it's bad for you. Yes, guys, please don't understand. Don't. Uh, think that I'm practicing, you know, like a saint, right? Uh, every day for seven hours straight. No, uh, I also skip practice from time to time. And I don't recommend to do this, right? But sometimes life gets in the way. But, uh, but, but, but don't beat yourself up if you do this. Be always positive and love yourself. For example, right now we spent two days, uh, you know, on the sea coast. And we haven't practiced for those two days. And this morning, you know, I practiced again. And actually, I felt even better. Because giving those two days of, you know, without practicing helped me to to look to my repertoire with a new eyes. I got some new ideas. You know, I heard and saw some things that I haven't, you know, noticed before. Mm -hmm. And I think it's good to give yourself sometimes without practicing. But of course, don't do it too often. And we don't, we will, we won't try to give you a recipe how many days you can skip, right? Sure, because it's I think dangerous. It's, it's individual for mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. You have to feel, you have to. If the reason is really important, then then of course go ahead and skip and, and don't beat yourself up for that. But then maybe try to make it up the next day, right? Yes. Okay, guys, this was with us. And Osha. We have different opinions, right, Osha? That's right. But uh, but that's the beauty of it, right? Of the, our conversation. Sometimes people get. They can choose whichever opinions they like and, and which advice they can take to heart. True. So please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow, uh, even though we don't always agree with each other. Um, but we always support each other. True. That's another thing. So... Um, and uh, remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online. 
where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vides and Osha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video, how to master any organ composition and... 10 day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.